I think Shohei Otani would be a perfect fit in a Cardinal uniform. And how likely do you think it is? I don't think they'll sign him in free agency, but how likely do you think it is that the Cardinals um, be interested in, in Shohei Otani at the trade deadline and then a possible extension? Man, that's really hard. Uh, I think I think the first place to start is Otani being available at the trade deadline. And, you know, yeah. the, 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 the challenge there is if the if if Artie Moreno doesn't want to sell, if he's actually going to step back from that process, then the Angels are definitely not giving up on the season. And if they're not giving up on the season, they are for sure not trading Otani. Uh, even if they are at some point get to the point where they're giving up on the season, that's really hard to figure out. You know, it, it, it's it's tough to see them actually doing that. Uh, and then in terms of the free agency question, like I don't that the Otani free agent deal, assuming that he gets through this year healthy is going to be is going to be 500 million maybe i mean i think that's, that's entirely reasonable right uh the car that would be five times the biggest deal the car five and some oh, change yeah. times the biggest deal the cardinals have ever, have ever given to a free agent so it would it would be crazy uh i have a really hard time seeing it in part too because like a lot of times for players like otani there is a desire to sort of seek that spotlight, right? And for all the things the Cardinals have going for them in the history and the respect of the franchise, it's not New York and it's not LA. Uh, and those things do matter to players. And, and, and they do matter to them, frankly, also from a financial standpoint, right? And from an access standpoint. And, you know, those, yeah. those, those are things that are important. I, don't, I won't pretend to know what's important to Shohei Otani, but historically those things have been important to players. And... It, it would be really hard to see the Cardinals being able to kind of match up on that front. Well, there's, there's two things. The first thing I think is if the angels struggle as much as they have in past seasons, and there's no reason to believe that they won't again this year. Cause I don't think they sure. made that many, like that many impactful moves. It would be a huge mistake to let Otani just walk for nothing for a comp pick. Um, I just don't, don't see how that's a smart move in, in any regard. So if they're out of contention by the deadline, I think there's a chance where they, they will ship him. And if we're thinking about like trades in recent memories, uh, the Cardinals have been very aggressive in the trade market. We got Goldie and Arenado, who obviously came here. And we'd have to think that if the Cardinals had landed Juan Soto at last year's trade deadline, they probably would have given him the 400 million plus extension that he wanted. Cause I don't think they would have let those prospects walk for, for nothing. So I don't know. Yeah. I I will, I will say that the thing with Soto to keep in mind is that at the time that that deal had been considered, they were talking about uh, – you, you, with, with Soto, you were talking about three postseason runs, right? You had had the rest of last year, that playoffs, and then two more full years with him. And look, conceivably, a, a team, including the Padres, still good, could reflip Soto at the end to recoup some of those assets, right? Um, I think To me, the, the interesting comparison is Bryce Harper – who his last year in Washington, when he reached the end, you know, face in the franchise, best player in team history, all that kind of stuff. The, the, the Nats, their baseball ops people did have a deal. They had a deal to trade him to Houston at the deadline that year. And ownership said, no, Nats ownership did not want it to happen, you know, because of whatever whether it's the message it sends, or we're going to still try to sign him, or he's a big team, that part of the team, whatever the Nats nixed it, because there is a degree of kind of that, that, that relationship between player and team when it's kind of an identity player, uh, that's really hard for people at that level to let go of sometimes. And Otani would be at that level or right? beyond that level. Uh, so it would be, I don't know, it's really hard for me to imagine Artie Moreno being the guy who lets that go. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, and maybe that is how it works out. But I would be I would be pretty surprised. Would you say that the face of the Angels is Otani or would it be like more of a Mike Trout type player? Because I know he's also... Um, yeah, I, that, I would be really interested to kind of see how they look at that. My guess would be, honestly, that that Otani is that guy more for them. And part of that is personality, too. Uh, you know, Trout, it, my, 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 the way that I, my interaction with Mike Trout have all been very good and very positive. But he's kind of a kind of a quiet guy, kind of a relaxed, you know, not not that not really out front sort of guy. Whereas Otani is, is a global superstar, right? Like spans continents, spans oceans. Uh, with kind of the reach he has in baseball. So I, I, they probably would say Otani if you force them to be honest about it. Mm. Yeah, I kind of lean towards thinking the Angels will not be trading Otani as well. I, I look at, obviously, Harper, like you just mentioned, but also there are other examples in recent memory, like Trevor Story, 
who didn't get sure. dropped the deadline. And we all thought he would. Um, and then even last year with the Cubs, they didn't trade Contreras because, you know, he's kind of the franchise face. And I agree with you. And I, I also think Artie Moreno, the way he's run this team in recent years, I think he sees um, all of the benefits that Otani gives him from a marketing standpoint. Um, you know, Otani draws people to the ballpark. People come to sure. watch him. They sell a ton of his jerseys and all of his merchandise. And so I, I agree. I think it'd be really hard for Artie Moreno to let that go. Even though Otani could bring a ton of value back. I also think there's the fact that the angels are going to feel that almost no trade package meets the value that they give Otani because he's just a rental at this point. Cause he's not going to get traded before the deadline. Right. Um, he'll just be a rental and you know, to match up with the kind of value, because they'll say, oh, we're giving out two, you know, super, superstar level players in one person. Um, and I don't think anyone's going to pony up to meet that price. Yeah, I, I think that's, I think that's probably the best way to look at it. And could something shocking happen? It certainly could, but man, I would be surprised. Yeah. So sorry, Andrew. <laughs> I, do have a pipe train, but, uh, yeah. I do have the Otani jersey on the wall behind me. It would, it would be nice to get that turned into a cardinal one one day. But for sure. 